Hello, welcome to Red Ted Art. First things first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to sew these cute little f fabric flowers. Now these are really, really good um, project for beginner sewers because the stitch you use is really easy and it's really sweet. The hardest part actually is probably putting on the button. Um, you can then purchase some of these clips that I've got that you can sew on and these would look great in your hair. They look great as a little brooch. They would look nice on your handbag or you could put some little... Um, ribbons at the bottom and it can be a rosette so lots of uses and really sweet sewing and great for getting kids into sewing especially now my daughter she's five and she's mastered the running stitch and i she's dying to have a go at this so we will do it soon so what you need is is a long piece of fabric this is 22 inches so that's 22 inches long and four inches across you fold it over right sides together which means the pattern it's facing itself you take a thread in a similar color and all you do is is do a quick running stitch a running stitch basically means you're going up in up in up in up there you go i did it all in one go when my daughter does this it's easier for her to go in and up in and up so you do one stitch at a time. So you've done that, maybe one more, and then you just secure it at the top and you're ready to move on. So quickly secure it, like that, and cut it. Now I'm gonna get a new piece of thread simply because I want to have it long enough for, to do all the sewing without having to cut so you do want a reasonably long piece of thread. I've got some lovely, colourful thread here. Okay. okay, now you're ready to sew along the edge. So, little knot at the end. So now you turn it right sides out, like this, and you fold it in half. So can you see what I've done there? So you've got it in half, where your seam is, it meets, like that. Right, that looks quite neat, that's good. And now you do a very simple running stitch all along. So running stitch, remember is in and then back you go from the top down and from the top back up top down they, they can be quite long and just try and get them in a straight line as possible so here they're about half a centimeter from the edge Definitely don't go close, too close to the edge. That's probably actually where my five-year-old needs to practice because when she does things like this, she often goes very close to the edge. So just make sure your fabric keeps staying aligned nicely and just do your running stitch. And I'm gonna just speed this up a bit. So I'm doing several stitches in one go. Lining it up as I go along. This, I have to say, I meant to say this at the beginning actually, I should have said it. This is from, um, I went to Brit Mums live recently, a blogging event, and at the event we had um, the lovely people from Lady So and So, and they had a craft table there, and this was one of their projects that we're doing with bloggers at the craft table, and I thought it'd be really lovely to share with you. So this is from Lady So and So. I'll put the website link below. Right, it's a bit tricky today because it's a hot day. My fingers are all a bit slippery on this needle. So keep going. I'm going to start bunching it up a bit till my thread's long enough. Now, if you're doing this with children or if you're not a confident sewer, I would say, you know, give yourself at least half an hour 
to 40 minutes to do it. If you're doing this in a group with younger children, an hour and a half. But if it's one on one, I think you can get this done in 40 minutes or so. Almost ready. Ah, oh, hold the fingers. This is what happens when you craft in summer, isn't it? So look, I'm all, almost at the end. And then one more. And I've made it back to the beginning. Right, now you give it a good tug. So like that, can you see? And already you have your really, really pretty flower shape like that. Look at that. Give it a nice tight pull. Make sure the camera is focusing on the bottom. And then you just give it a few stitches to help it all hold in place. And again, this helps when you don't have hot fingers and it's all slippery on your needle. Oh, I love this pattern, it's so cute. So I'm just doing some stitches to secure it. Like so. Maybe one more. If you want you can do it from the other side as well, it just depends on how neat you are, but to be honest you won't be able to see it. And then you just add your button. So I've chosen a nice big blue button here. Let me sew that on. And when you're sewing it on, not only are you securing the button, but you're also securing your sewing a bit more, which is great. Hmm, slippy fingers. Oh la la, right, so, and there, then once you've done it, I'll probably put a few more stitches on afterwards, because like I said, I'm quite hot and my needle is getting all sticky, but then you have your lovely flower, and all you need to do at the back is add one of these um, hair clips or a safety pin, depending on how you want to wear it, and you have yourself a very sweet little and really easy sewing project brilliant for beginners now don't forget to join uh, subscribe to the channel for lots more craft ideas and see you here again soon bye